Hello, how are you? I hope you're feeling good. Today I'll talk about in my presentation about my lesson one on unit two. I hope you're feeling good or I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, please don't be shy. I'll answer your questions privately on WhatsApp with all pleasure. This is Mrs. Rasad from Science Team at New Generation Language School. By the end of these lessons, of this lesson, students will be able to define the concept of uh, energy and work, differentiate between the forms of energy, classify the resources of the energy, differentiate between the mechanical, kinetic, and the potential energy, uh, deduce the relation between the mechanical, kinetic, and the potential energy. So we will start with energy resources. To know the meaning of energy, you must know the meaning of work. So first, we are going to talk about the energy. Energy is the ability to do work or make a change. The fuel, uh, the fuel inside the engine burns and gives the energy to move the car. Because the burning of fuel in the car engine is an example of energy that, en that enables the car to move or to do work. And number two, the food inside your souls and uh, produce the energy needed to do activities because the burning of food in the human body is an example of energy that enables the body to carry out the uh, to carry out to do activities or to do work. Give reason. The fuel in the car is similar to the food in the body because both burn and produce because both of them get burn and produce energy needed for work. So what is the meaning of work? The force acts on a body and moves it for a distance in a certain direction direction. So when a force acts on a body to move distance or displacement in the same direction uh, of such force uh, it's said that the work is done on such as objects so uh, when the object increases the work done increases and when the person uh, affects a wall by a force he can do work because the displacement equals zero so work equals force times displacement and we can refer to for to work by w and force by f and uh, displacement by d and what about the measuring unit? Work is joule, force is newton, displacement is meter. When the displacement increases, the work done increases. When the person affects a wall by force, he can't do work. Give reason? Because the displacement equals zero. So for example, a car moved a distance 20 meter pulling a piece of wood by a force of 75 newton calculate the work done by this car f equal uh, w equal f times uh, d equals 75 by 20 equal 1500 joules i think it's so easy And now it's your turn. A car moved for a distance 30 meters, pulling a piece of wood by a force of 20 newton. Calculate the work done by this car. And you have 10 seconds. Brilliant. And now we're going to talk about the resources of energy. First, the measuring unit of energy is joules, so resources of energy. First, the permanent sources of energy is the sun only, the sun only. And about the renewable resources, uh, the renewable sources of energy, such as wind, waterfalls, and tide about the non-renewable resources of energy such as the fuel, oil, coal, natural gas, 
or the food, the chemical reaction, and the nuclear reaction, the reaction in the nucleus of the atoms. And now we're going to talk about the forms of energy. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy uh, are the energy stored in a stretched spring and water falls. Electric energy. Electric energy as the energy produced from uh, the wind generator and solar cells. Number three, sound energy. Uh, the energy produced from loudspeakers and musical instruments. Number four, light energy. The energy produced by the form of the light bulb or, or the candles or kerosene lamp. Number five, chemical energy. Uh, the energy stored in food, car battery, and fuel. Number six, heat energy. Heat energy is the energy produced from heater, oven, or gas cooker burning a foot of wood. And number seven, nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the energy produced from the reactions in the nucleus of an atom. So the forms of energy again. Light energy, sound energy, electric energy, chemical energy, heat energy, nuclear energy, and finally mechanical energy. Give reason. Some countries try to use the wind energy to generate electricity. Because they are cheap and clean. Or because they are cheap resources of energy and don't pollute the environment. Both of them is correct. First, we'll start with the potential energy. It is the stored energy in the object due to the work done on it. And what about uh, the factors affecting, on, uh, affecting the potential energy? Number one, weight of the object. So weight equal mass times acceleration due to gravity. Number two, the height of the object. And don't forget that the acceleration due to gravity equal 9.8 9 or uh, 10 meter per second square. And potential energy equal height times weight. Potential energy, uh, uh, the measuring unit of it, is joule and the uh, potential and the, uh, the the height the measuring unit of that is meter and the measuring unit of weight is newton give reason the weight of an object is different from its uh, from its mass give reason because objects weight equal objects mass times acceleration due to, acceleration due to gravity Number two, no change in potential energy when the object moves uh, horizontally. Because its height doesn't change as the potential energy is directly uh, proportional to the, the, the height of the object from the ground. And what is meant by the potential energy of an object equals zero? This means that the object of this place, of uh, the, the object is placed on the ground. Brilliant. Some problems. First, an object whose mass is two times two kilogram and it's a height of uh, and uh, and it's at a height of four meter. Calculate its potential energy if its height is uh, directed by one meter. Calculate its new potential energy and uh, don't forget that the expression due to gravity equal times meter per second square. First about the solution, we'll start with the weight equal mass times acceleration due to gravity equal 2 times 2.5 times 10 equal 25 newton. And the potential energy at the height of 4 meter 
uh, equal weight times height equal 25 times 4 equal 100 joule and when the height decreases by 1 meter the new height will be 3 meter and the new potential energy equal 25 times 3 equals 75 joule find the weight of an object potential of um, of an object of potential energy 88 joule when it's found at the height 11 meter but the solution weight equal potential energy divided by height equal 88 divided by 11 equal a newton we have two questions here for you number one an object whose mass is two kilogram and it's a height of five meter from the earth's surface calculate the potential energy and the second one is Calculate the height of the, an object when uh, from the, the Earth's surface, knowing that uh, its weight is four newton and its potential energy is ten joule. What happens to the potential energy of the following cases? Number one, the weight of an object increases to double, so the potential energy increases to double. And the height decreases to half, the potential energy decreases to half. The weight of an object increases to double, and its height decreases to half, the potential energy is still constant. And now we're gonna talk about the kinetic energy. It's the work done during the motion of an object. The factors affecting the kinetic energy first the mass of the object number two the velocity or the speed of the object so first mass of the object if the car one has uh, a mass larger than the outer the other the moving of the same speed so the work done that is needed stop the car of larger mass increases because the kinetic energy of a moving object increases increasing the mass of the object so the work done to stop and it increases and about the velocity or the speed if two cars of identical mass uh, and one car is moving faster than the other so the work done uh, that is needed to stop the faster car increases because the kinetic energy of moving the object increases by increasing the speed of the motion so the work done to stop it increases and the kinetic energy equal half mass times the speed square and the measuring unit of kinetic energy is meter per second Give reason. Number one, the work done that is needed to stop the car of the larger mass increases because it has more kinetic energy. Number two, the work done that is needed to stop the faster car increases because it has more kinetic energy also. Potential energy is maximum at the high po highest point, while it equals zero at the ground, and the kinetic energy is maximum at the ground while it equals zero at the highest point so what did it mean why the kinetic energy of an object equals zero means that the object is at rest point problems a racing bike is moving at, uh, at a speed of 20 meter per second calculated kinetic energy knowing that the mass of the bike is 8 kilometer first we'll start the kinetic energy equal half mass speed square so the kinetic energy equal half times 8 because the mass is because the mass equal 8 and the speed square don't forget that 20 square equal 1600 joules Number two, calculate the mass of an, uh, of an object that kinetic energy equals 50 joules and its speed equals 5 meter per second. First, we will start with mass. Mass equal to kinetic energy divided by speed square, so equal to times 5 divided by 5 square or 5 times 5 equal 4 kilograms. 
What happens to the kinetic energy in the following cases? Number one, the mass of a moving object decreases to half. The kinetic energy decreases to half. The speed decreases to double. The kinetic energy increases to times four times. The speed of an object increases to double and its mass decreases to half. The kinetic energy increases to double. And now it's time for comparison between potential energy and kinetic energy of an object. So, what about the definition? Potential, it is the uh, energy stored in the body due to work uh, done on it. In kinetic, it's the work done during the motion of an object. Factors affecting it. Potential energy, weight and height. Kinetic energy, mass and speed. Low, view, low used. But, uh, potential energy equal weight times height and kinetic energy equal half mass times speed square and now we are going to talk about the mechanical energy when you left an object you do work that is stored in the object in the form of potential energy when the object falls down the stored potential energy is changing gradually into kinetic energy so the sum of potential energy and kinetic energies of an object is known as the mechanical energy so the mechanical energy it is the sum of potential and kinetic energies of the body and uh, the work done equal the mechanical energy in, in any problem you can you can say you can see uh, the work done the, the work done instead of the mechanical energy both of them means the mechanical energy equal potential time potential plus kinetic energy potential energy when you rise a pole from the ground and the kinetic energy when you leave the ball to fall down important notes each body has a constant value of mechanical energy mechanical energy is directly to the potential and kinetic energy potential energy is inversely uh, proportional to the uh, kinetic energy brilliant Now, at the highest point, the object has only potential energy, maximum height. At the middle point, the object uh, has potential energy equal kinetic energy. And at the ground, the object has only kinetic energy, the maximum speed. Good reason. Although the decreases uh, in the potential energy of an object during falling falling but it mechanical its mechanical energy remains a constant because the decrease occur in the potential energy during falling equal the increase uh, in its kinetic energy okay problems calculate the mechanical energy of moving your body uh, whose potential energy is 200 Newton, 200 joules, 2000 joules, I'm sorry, and its kinetic energy is 100 joules. The mechanical energy equal potential energy plus kinetic energy equal 2000 plus 100 equal 2100 joules. Number two, a stone whose mass is 3 kilogram is known uh, is the thrown from a height of 10 meter find its potential energy and the kinetic energy and don't forget that the acceleration gravity equal 10 uh, meter per second square number one at the height at the beginning of fall number two when it reaches the middle of the height after the act after the, uh, reaching at the height uh, of three meter when it reaches the ground Please focus with me in our session to know the answer. And now it's your turn. Give reason an object moves horizontally has a constant potential energy. Number two, the potential energy of an object increases when the height increases. 
Number three, the kinetic energy of an object increases when the velocity or the speed increases. You have 10 seconds. Brilliant, you're amazing. Another question. A stone has a mass of 0.4 kilogram was thrown up and reached at the height of 5 meter. Then its velocity was uh, 4 meter per second. Calculate the following potential energy, kinetic energy, and the mechanical energy or the work done on it. But now we don't have 10 seconds. It's your homework and thank you. Thank you so much. See you later. Goodbye.